welcome to the best of Phil Heath. And just like this title says, it is about time. I have had more requests for this best of Phil Heath series than probably any other video. And like I said, it is about time. This will be the Olympia only versions. I feel that those tournaments are much more satisfying and much more entertaining as well. And we will get to the bottom of this. You'll notice it is narrowed down to an eight-man tournament. There will be no matchup in this video because obviously I kind of tricked you guys. and I don't expect a whole big, huge influx of views for this one. But anyway, the tournament will be good. And you can see there is a couple of years missing there, 2009 in particular. He was sick, actually, and I did some quick comparisons, and it was a terrible year. It was definitely not his best year. Also, I did the matchup between 2017 and an 18. 17 won. If you can go back and check and watch that comparison if you want. And I did some quick comparisons also with some years with 2018, or 17, rather, and rest assured, that is not at all in the equation here. It's not the best year at all. He had a gut. There was Even his back was uh, was not his best. Definitely not his peak year. So I had to narrow it down to an eight-man to make this nice little tournament bracket. And here we go. The first matchup, 2008. His earlier, his first Olympia, he looked so good there. He placed third on his first. So I'm sure there was some politics there. And he may have even should have placed higher, but who knows? Who knows? And uh, Dexter Jackson obviously won that year. What a what a version of Phil Heath. It'll be going against 2010. He placed second against Jay Cutler. An awesome Dr. Phil there as well. 2010. Who knows? The next matchup's going to be a hum. Humdinger. A double hum. 2011 versus 2012. His first victory. His first Sandow and a second Sandow. What a matchup that's going to be. 2013 versus 2014 will take place way over on the other side of the brackets. At 2013, you're going to have to keep a good sharp eye on that year. 2014, not his best year, I don't think. Now the final match, 2015 versus 2016. I've actually heard Mick mention... One of these years, I believe 2016, somebody said that was probably his best year. I don't know. I don't know about that at all. But who knows? Who knows? His back was very good one of those years. But this we will see as this tournament bracket all unfolds. And I do apologize for naming this video what I did. And it's kind of tricking some of you. But I guarantee a whole lot of other of, of you are just as happy and excited to see this tournament take place. And we will find out the best Dr. J. Phil. Or Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil Heath. I like to call him Dr. Phil. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Click thumbs up if you did. And also, hit that subscribe button. I'm sure anybody that clicks on this is already a subscriber. And if you're not, you've already decided that you're not going to. But either way, thank you for the view, and have a great day.